All right, welcome to Box Elder High School tonight. Uh, we have the round one of the UHSAA volleyball tournament going on here at Box Elder High School. We have Springville Red Devils in town. Yeah, and Springville came in uh, seated number 20. Box Elder sitting at number 13. Not a lot of comparative scores to look at, which, you know, I like. What In, in some of the sports that we have when we do uh, state playoffs, we're, we're playing a region game again, it seems. And that's not the case today. I like it when we play uh, different, different teams. I, th I think it's great to expand our uh, wings a little bit and uh, see, see different faces. Yeah, and now Box Elder finished the season at 14 and 15. Somehow, I didn't see it. I don't think you did either, but they lost to Bonneville, which took them out of the 12th spot probably in the RPI rankings. But nonetheless, you don't look uh, backwards. You look forward. Uh, Springville, the only comparative score we have with them is they al also lost to Bonneville. Or no, they may have beat them. We beat them and lost to them. We split. So the way I look at it is Box Elder should win on paper. It's not always played on paper. No, it's not. Box Elder is not so good that they can just show up. But I think if they play even a just a good game, I think Box Elder comes away with a win. Yeah, I know uh, Springville, they had a long bus ride. They showed up, uh, you know, not too long ago. So I don't know. I I, maybe it's just because I'm old. I don't like but long bus rides. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> but, but they're young. They're, they're kids. Uh, they, they can handle it. And yet, Kevin, as I remember high school sports, and I was not an, a, a great athlete, I'll be honest. Um, I was adequate at best. But sometimes the, what you remember years later is the bus rides, not the games. <laughs> so you remember your friends and the bus rides and all the silly things you did. Um, because I, I contend that there's only two teams years from now that are going to remember this season. That's the team that wins it all and the team that loses in the finals. That, that stings. Everybody else just remembers the bus rides and the friends. Oh, by the way, happy Halloween, everybody. Yeah, that, it's, uh, and they start, they're starting a little earlier tonight so everybody can get home and, and pass out candy. Um, it, I looked at the RPI rankings, Bruce, and the regions are somewhat similar. The leading team in the state, number one, is Maple Mountain coming from Region 7, as is number five. Region 5 has number two and four. So kind of top-heavy. Yeah. And then there's a gap. you got Viewmont and Tim View, Northridge, Box Elder, all kind of lumped in there from 9 to 13. And then another grouping that would include Springville, you know, there's a little bit of a separation there, and that's why I say Box Elder on paper wins this game. But they got a tough region. Yeah, they do. Both of them do. Um, they've played very top teams. Now, I'll tell you what, Woods Cross and, and, and Bountiful are so good, and, and I don't know about Maple Mountain and Salem Hills. I'm sure Maple Mountain is, is the equivalent of, of the teams we've seen. But sometimes if they're so much better than you, you hardly have a chance, and so you, I don't know that the experience does you a whole lot of good. You, you experience getting destroyed. But Box Elder actually got a win or a game against both Woods Cross and Bountiful. So I think that helped them. Um, the other thing to pay attention to is in a state game, you know, for these seniors. It's all or nothing. It, it, this is it. I mean, most of these girls, 99% of them, I don't know if any of them are, are looking to play at the next level or have the ability to play at the next level. And I'm not talking about intramurals at Utah State <laughs> or, or City Ball. They'll all do that, right? But competitively, this is it for the seniors. The loser of this game goes home. Now next week, whoever wins this one moves on. And I believe that if they lose that game, they go into the consolation bracket. But um, this is it for the, the team that loses. And so whichever team can kind of handle that pressure, handle that anxiety, especially to right out of the gate, has an advantage. You know, it's like uh, Coach Chris uh, says all the time, you know, they want to be the first one to five. Uh, and that's kind of the kind of the game plan that she goes by. Well, and I, and I think that's even more important today where 
The, the further you get into this game, the pressure mounts. All right, we're going to turn things over to the announcer here, and uh, we'll have the flag ceremony. Jesse got the flag. If you would all rise and face the flag, we'll listen to the national anthem together here in just a second. All right, we'd like to welcome the starters for Springfield. Starting tonight, a five foot two senior number four, Francesca Campbell. A five foot ten senior number five, Ella Child. A five foot seven senior number six, Hannah Child. A five foot eight senior number seven, Jane Allen. A five foot eight senior number eleven, Aspen Cook. Five foot six junior number sixteen, Brooke Bergeson. A five foot nine junior number nineteen, Natalie Florence. A five foot three senior number twenty two, Lillian Miller. And a six foot tall junior number twenty five, Brooklyn Johnson. Springer is coached by Sammy Cannon. All right, let's get up and make some noise for our cats. And Starting at a five foot six senior, the bell of the Halloween Orient. A five foot eight senior, seven three, Mia Stokes. Five foot eight junior, seven oh six, Taya Barrows Vera. Five foot two, senior defensive specialist number seven, Grace Arsenal. Six foot three, junior middle blocker number twelve, Jamie Chappelle. Five foot one, senior middle blocker twenty eight, Jamie Parker. Six foot tall, senior. Put a block of in with the one out of your side. Five foot seven, senior outside, little bit of 32, brand new, Southwood. And five foot eight, senior outside, little bit of 53, Hannah Brown. The boots are crushed by Katie Winsley. Bobby Hall, Shane Jefferson, Vinci Stewart, our amazing head coach is Chris Hardy. Let's go! Somebody down.
right, Johnny, it's uh, time for some volleyball. Yeah, you mentioned that Chris likes to make an emphasis on getting to five first, and I had said in a state game that's even more important. Pre pressure can mount the further you get into these games, and so you, you want to be playing ahead. You don't want to be coming from behind. When I asked Chris uh, if, if she thought we were going to win or not, she says, I don't want to jinx this. <laughs> That's code for yes? <laughs> is that what that is? I, I'm hoping so. Well, I, I spoke to Molly Holmes prior to the game, the assistant coach, and I, you know, I won't say what she said. Um, I think her sentiments were kind of what mine are, is if we come out and play our game, we'll win. I know, uh, you know, Chris has, has watched uh, Springville and knows how they play, and She's definitely concerned about certain players out there. Uh, she said they got some good uh, outside hitters. Uh, she said they're not the, the biggest. Uh, so she is concerned. Uh, they got a couple setters in there. Uh, they like to dump the ball. So a lot of things that she's caught on to that they need to focus on to be able to come out with a win here. So hopefully the girls are on the same page as she is. Well, I guarantee you one thing. They've, they've all played enough volleyball. They're not going to see anything new tonight. You know, they've gone up against really, really good competition. Both teams have. So they'll not see anything they haven't seen. All right, Box Elder's going to get served first. Mia Stokes behind the line. A, a decent uh, student body over there. I hope it grows a little bit as the day goes on. They just barely got out of school. Good kill there by Brinley Johnson. And a block, but goes out of bounds. That was fortunate because that was a, a oh, they're gonna, they're gonna give it to Springville. I, I think they meant that Springville touched it and then it went out of bounds. It, it was clearly out, unless there was a violation of some sort. Okay, so now they reverse that and it's out. And and the one thing notice we do not have high school official or uh, high school uh, players being yeah. the line judges. We have actual state officials here, so that that is a good sign. And uh, not that the high school kids don't do a good job, but this it, is a, it's a state game. It, it wouldn't be fair to ask them to do that. A good little that that was the dump they were that Chris was talking about right there. So. All tied up at one. I to talked with uh, Coach Cannon a little bit before the game as well, and uh, this is her first year coaching there at Springville. Oh, overpass kill there for Johnson. And, and that's what Box Elder needs to avoid is those uh, overpasses, which on occasion they've been susceptible to doing that. And that's uh, Jane Allen serving for Springville and Valenzuela comes away with the kill and the point and we see what a good first pass uh, does for your whole game it, it makes everybody's job easier it sure does that initial control of the ball makes a huge difference Grace, Grace Hodson oh I'm sorry we were, we were thinking <laughs> along the same way the same thing nice Oops, oh, that's not going to work. Good effort. Just had too much momentum. When you're in the air, it's kind of hard to stop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is Campbell back serving, and it hits the net and rolls on over. Southwick finds a hole and uh, makes a defense stretch for that one. Well, we're, we've been tied at every at every score so far. <laughs> Brings up Patty Olson to serve. It, it makes for a fun game, but an uncomfortable game. Hey, we'll give her an ace. <clears throat> Looked like there was a little bit of indecision as to whether to bump it or bring the hands up.
Nice spot there by Larkin. Well, and, and Chris Harding would be happy. Box Elder's the first to five. Olsen serving again. And it'll give her an ace again. That's three straight for the bees. Maybe we just need Olsen to serve. Give her another one. The nice thing that she's doing here is she's varying the serves that she's doing and it's catching them off guard it looks like. Yeah, some are going deep, some are going short. And that one just cleared the net. And give her another one. I, I would think, uh, you know, maybe one more and Springville's going to need a timeout. They need to stop this roll of Box Elder. That's five straight. Yeah, they nailed it with that one there. Hannah Child. Yeah, they avoid having to take the time out, but Box Elder still has them doubled up, eight to four. Now Box Elder's job, they got a four point lead. If they can just keep Springville from getting those three and four and five point runs, they should be okay. That's Natalie Florence serving for the Red Devils. Nice save there by Campbell. And put inside there by Bergeson. Overpass. Almost doubled, but uh, came up on the Red Devil side of the net. Yeah, the box out is very fortunate there because sometimes that overpass can can be a, a killer. Valenzuela back serving. Good first pass. Ended up uh, just like we talked before. Cook with the kill just inside the block. Yeah, the block was there. Just they snuck that ball between the block and the net. Getting that first pass, made it a little off, and again, inside the block on that one. That time it's Ella Child. Ella Child. That's Bergeson back serving. Well, I talked about avoiding those runs, and yeah, guess what? And, and, and they're doing <laughs> it. And Box Elder had them three to seven, so they've outscored us five two. It's been a couple of different services, but. And nicely put over the net that time by Hannah Vaughn, just outside the reach of the blockers. So it comes up Brindley Southwick to serve. You know, that's somebody's name we haven't said. Not, tonight. Yet, and, not yet tonight. And we need her to, we need to be saying her name a lot. Good block that time by Larkin. And that might have been going out, but it, you know, if Taya doesn't know, then you got to hit it. It works out well. It worked out well. Vaughn got the point, and Box Elder stays on top. good serve but it was a good pass and good save there by the bees hey, that, that was, was in, in. Yeah. was that Florence that hit that one my eyes are too old to follow it <laughs> box elder up by a couple Ella Child back to serve 
And that stayed in as well. Give her an ace. We're one point away from it being tied again. Yes, we are. Fox Elder had a sizable lead at five. Back row, Southwick. Then back row again. Uh, that time, Fulmer puts it long. Got Reader back serving, and we need to get some. Nice block by Julia Reeder and and Addie Olson with the second one. See if Allie can keep this thing going for the bees. And a nice put down there by Brindley Johnson. And uh, that was one thing that uh, Coach Harding mentioned before is uh, they're big in the middle and that's, uh, you know, Brindley Johnson plays a big game in there. And Julia Roberts got roofed right there by Jane Allen. Lillian Miller doing the service for the Red Devils and finds the net. We've been pretty clean on the serves so far today. Yeah, so far so good. Back all the way around to uh, Mia Stokes. Oh, that that set on that one uh, got behind Hannah Child. She was able to correct it, and it came off the off the block that they weren't quite ready for. Yeah, they they tipped it. It, it. it was not a hard hit ball, and had they not tipped it at the net, that's a good serve. Um, unfortunate there, but had they not hit, touched it, it would have been received easily. Well, we're tied at 14. Hasn't been tied since we were at three. Jane Allen serving. And a roof put on that time. I don't know if that was uh, Johnson or Hannah Child, but one or the other. And Coach Harding wants a timeout to try and get things uh, back on track here as uh, all of a sudden Springville's up one. Welcome to the exciting world of regenerative medicine. I'm Dr. Paul Winterton. I'm a board certified orthopedic surgeon. We've been able to synthesize the natural lubricant that our body makes called hyaluronic acid. And we're able to move that material into the joint with actual needle sticks. We decrease that coefficient of friction and makes that joint glide more smoothly. All right, welcome back. Vox Elder down one after this timeout. That's the first lead Springville's had since it was three to two. So they, they erased that five point deficit and took the lead. And back with Jane Allen doing the service. Again, that first pass. Out of bounds, tying up again. It's our fifth tie of the game, so. It's basically, we're starting all over, first team to 10. Yeah, it is. Hodson back to serve. Yeah. 
right in the corner goes Hannah Child. Very well placed. It's like she wanted it to go there or something. I mean, it wasn't the hardest kill in the world, but it hey, was it, placed perfectly. It, you can't ask for more than a point. Nope. <laughs> And off the block goes Addy Olson. And, and it was all because of the, the, the first pass was handled well, and they were able to get a set. Addy Olson back to serve. That's where we got our lead last time. I, I talk like it's really easy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Addy did a great job of serving last time. And the Beast take the lead again. And that one goes long as well. Claiming for a touch, not going to get it. Not that it matters. I didn't think it was touched, and I didn't think so either. But that one got touched, went out yeah. of bounds. <laughs> yeah, no argument there. Is not, not going to argue that one. Not arguing the touch or out of bounds stuff. So. B's up by one. We're, we're getting to the end here where it starts to get a lot to be a lot of fun. That's Natalie Florence serving for the Red Devils. Valenzuela with the kill. Stayed alive by Florence. Great first pass. Timing was off just a little bit there. A little off on that one. Hodson playing a little too deep. Ball came uh, off the hands and uh, too far in front of Hodson. Florence again behind the line. Southwick gets roofed. And Springville takes the lead again. It's just keeps going back and forth <coughs> Florence continues to serve good first pass and a dump that was picked up by Campbell and uh, two-point lead now for Springville Back row hit, off from uh, Box Elder is going to take a timeout Larkin. down by three for the first time. Yeah, it, good time to take it. Don't have much left. We'll be right back. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. My wife Lori and I have always felt that family is important and when you have a family owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. A lot of funeral homes will just say, here's your bag and thank you for letting us do your services, but we like to go one step further ahead. All right, we're back. Coach Harding's still in the huddle there, uh, getting her money's worth. You know, they blew the whistle, but the buzzer hadn't gone off yet, so she's going to take every bit of that minute. And in this case, she took a little more. <laughs> and they still have Natalie Florence back <clears throat> on the behind the service line. Nice save, but we cannot put that one over the net. You can almost mark it down that if Box Elder gets a good first hit, they win the point. And if they don't, they don't. That, the majority of the time, that is definitely the case. Nice save there by Florence off from that block. And that was in as well. 
And a four-point lead, five-point lead now for yeah. Springville. Five points, two to go. Florence been on that uh, service line for quite some time. Another first hit that doesn't go well. Substitution here for the Bees. Free ball to the Red Devils. And that's going to be the first game. Box Elder just, uh, once they hit 18, it was nonstop for the Red Devils. Red Devils got nine straight points. That's, well, uh, that's not going to do it. Volleyball is a game of runs, and they got the run. All right. We'll be right back for game number two after word from some of our sponsors. For a loved one currently suffering from chronic knee pain, arthritis, or osteoarthritis of the knee, has physical therapy, surgery, steroid injections, ibuprofen, and other NSAIDs fail to provide relief, then you may be a candidate for our Advanced Arthritis Relief Protocol. The AARP program utilizes the latest fluoroscopic guidance technology to deliver a new joint fluid supplement that cushions the knee and reduces pain. Specialized knee bracing is then applied to unload the knee and increase joint space. Finally, advanced rehabilitative therapies are performed to strengthen the muscles and ligaments of the knee. When combined, these treatments have helped many patients reduce or even eliminate their joint pain and reduce Return to normal active lifestyles. The best part is the AARP program is covered by most insurance, including Medicare. Tired of living with knee pain? Then call the number on your screen right now to see if you qualify for our advanced arthritis relief protocol. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. Um, we purchased the mortuary, the funeral chapel in 2001. My wife Lori and I have always felt that family is important and when you have a family owned funeral home you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. But we like to go one step further ahead. This is great to go with the flow of my children. I would love to have three of her on set. I will use her anytime she's available that she can work on my films. Brooklyn was able to get my five fiance to relax over true personality. Brooklyn is the Navy SEAL of set production and I could not have made it without her. You're the star of video photo and design. Leave or send a message to the email or phone number listed below. You're the star where you become the star. All right, welcome back. Uh, Springville takes the first game 25 to 18. Yeah, Box Elder started off, and usually if you start off really well, you feel feel good about it. But they, boy, they stunk it up the last uh, yeah they third of the game. I don't know if it was uh, Florence's serving on that, or just that uh, Box Elder couldn't put anything together. Well, you know, obviously it's always a combination of of all things, but you got to credit the serve because Box Elder struggled to get a first hit. Yep, that first pass just wasn't there. And, and Chris tried to do some subbing, and, and nothing worked. So, you know, Box Elders uh, behind the eight ball now. Yeah, they are. Springville had a great first game on that, and uh, we will see how game number two pans out here as we continue on. Well, and, and that's something that's unique to this sport is – that first game's done, similar to what tennis maybe, and but that one's got done. You can put it behind you and start all over. Whereas in other sports, if you have a bad first quarter, sometimes it's hard. You're done. Yeah. One uh, one thing to note on here for uh, Springville, they have two sets of sisters on the on the team. They got. Uh, we've been talking Ella Child and Hannah Child, two starters. Uh, they are twins. And then also, you know, the, the height in the middle, Brinley Johnson, she's a junior. She has a freshman 
uh, Oakley Johnson uh, on the team as well. So the Childs are twin. One's 5'10 and one's 5'7. <laughs> And right in the hole that time uh, goes uh, Brooke Bergeson. So they continue on where they left off, and that's uh, quite honestly control. Jane Allen back serving. And that was a nice save that time by Stokes. And then uh, Addie Olson gets one down. Had a first good pass, and, and it resulted in a point. Hodson back to serve for the Bees. Timing off just a little bit on that one. Uh, Red Devils can't get it over. Bees take the lead, two to one. Now, if Box Elder wants to win this game, we have to be calling out Southwick's name. We have not called it much here tonight. No, we haven't. Good block by Olson. Great first pass. Timing did not match up on the good recovery by Southwick. Free ball to the Red Devils. And uh, the blooper got roofed. It looked like the blockers there from Box Elder just kind of were suspended <laughs> in the air for a little bit. Because when she tapped it, I thought, oh boy, Box Elder players are going to be coming on the way down as that ball is going across, but they were able to get it. Hodson continues to serve. Johnson, shoulder shot, Hodson. And this one's got to go over for the free ball. They kept it alive. Yeah, that was a catch and grab. <laughs> Great effort, though. Yeah. I mean, it was set way behind her. It was. She, she really didn't have much of a choice, but easy call for the referee. Box Elder up 1-4. Will they be the first five? And it didn't work out last time, but still the goal. Johnson with the pushover. Valenzuela with the dink. Valenzuela from the back row. Stokes got it and saved the point. That was a good rally there. There's some, a uh, lot of hard fought. Uh, that was a hard fought point. All Hodson right. Hudson continues her serve. We started off down 0-1, and now it's 5-1. So five straight for the Bees. Southwick's just too far away from the net on that one. Yeah, we need to continue to go to her. I hope I'm not saying something that Chris doesn't want him to do, not that they'd listen to me, <laughs> but in, in the times that we've watched him, that's what needs to happen. Campbell hits long. Bees get the service back. It'll be Addie Olson behind the line. Addie's a good server. It's good to have her back there. Free ball to the Springville. And long. That Got hit it. in. Yep. Give her an ace. 
That dropped in, and you would think Springville's thinking about a timeout if this goes another point or so. It's nice to see Box Elder kind of put that first game behind him, and you don't want to lose two games, you know, as a result of one. You, you got to put it behind you. Again, that set was pretty well behind, but uh, no call on that one. Hannah Child got that one over. So we were ahead three to eight last time, and it didn't turn out too well. So we need to continue on. And we got Florence back there serving. Southwick gets it over. And that's out. At, at least that time we stopped Florence from uh, oh, that's putting huge. 10 up. That's huge. Valenzuela back to serve. Back over to Vaughn. Vaughn gets it over. Free ball to the bees. And uh, those are the kind of things that you can't let happen. You yep. get a free ball, you need to take advantage of it. Had uh, one person coming after it, and another one kind of had a bad poke on it. That that might make sense if it was the first game of the year. Yeah, not at this point. Yeah, they got to be talking, communicating out there. Southwick back to serve. Free ball to the bees. Somebody came across, Springsville's coach doesn't agree. We need to have them mic'd up. We've said that before. Huh? I know it. So the referees are gonna have a discussion to make sure they saw the same thing. And that's the right thing to do. I think they're saying the ball is still on the box other side when they're trying to bring it back. When uh, Springville touched it. And a roof put on. Chappelle with the roof. Nothing like having six foot three at the net, right? <laughs> That's right. And we got a timeout. Timeout called by Springville. We'll be right back. This was great to go with the flow of my children. I would love to have three of her on set. I will use her anytime she's available that she can work on my films. Brooklyn was able to get my shy fiance to relax and show her true personality. Brooklyn is the Navy SEAL of set production and I could not have made it without her. You're the star of video, photo, and design. Leave or send a message to the email or phone number listed below. You're the star where you become the star. They've got the student section over there having fun. And it's growing a little bit. That's a good thing. They're having fun, but I don't think we have any future musicians over there. <laughs> <laughs> I would uh, tend to agree with you. <laughs> Learn high school. Fun's, fun's what matters, right? Oh, absolutely. I, I'm not a musician either. Brentley singing. Brentley Southwick with that serve again. Great hit there by Ella Child. Larkin with a good one herself. That's a good set. And out on the other side. Box Elder taking a little better control of this game so far. I'm going to say so far because we know how the last one turned out. And an ace for Southwick. 
see if she can do that again. Yeah, this game was four to nine, and now it's four to 14, so that's five straight for the Bees. Southwick with the good first pass. That was a hard hit. That was a good job there by Reeder. But all for naught as Springville gets that point, gets the serve back. She down hit, nine. She hit it in, it just didn't go through the uprights. If we can add a little football lingo to it. Yeah, I'm hoping that we don't have to worry about uprights on Friday, but except for the PATs. Yes. <laughs> That's going to be a free ball to uh, Springville. That's that in. was in. Reader looked at it. I, I think she had a teammate telling her to let it go. I'm not sure. Teammates always can see that better from this, the side angle. Ella Child back to serve. And very nicely put by Hannah Vaughn. That was well done. Box Elder back to a nine point lead with Reeder back serving. Give her an ace. Box Elder is a different team this go round. Yes, they are. Part of it is, is they're getting really good serves. Addie Olsen had some good serves in that first game, but I don't remember anybody else really taking over. Not not at the service line. <clears throat> that one went long. And, and so true to form, as soon as I praise them, they <laughs> decide to humble me a little bit. We all need that occasionally. And, and their first hits, that first pass has been better this game. <laughs> Brings up Lillian Miller to serve. Overpass and right to Johnson. All right, Springville at eight. Box Elder has them doubled up at 16. Miller serving again. And that one goes long. She's wishing she had that one back. Kind yeah, of a wasted opportunity. Absolutely. Miller again for a third serve. Free ball. Nice pass by Southwick. And that was up a little too soft right into the hands there. I believe that was uh, Jane Allen. It's good serve, overpass, but Buckshutter gets another opportunity. And that time Johnson with the with the roof on top, and it's they're back to within five. Well, and they pick, they have five straight points. It was six to sixteen at one time. These need this serve back, and, and they need it quickly. It was Bragger that, that couldn't handle that. That's tough to come in. You, yeah, you know, come she, in she barely came in and had to receive that first hit. That one was long again. I think the bees need a timeout, and that's exactly what Chris is going to do. That's one apiece. We'll be right back. Welcome to the exciting world of regenerative medicine. I'm Dr. Paul Winterton. I'm a board certified orthopedic surgeon. We've been able to synthesize the natural lubricant that our body makes called hyaluronic acid. And we're able to 
move that material into the joint with actual needle sticks. We decrease that coefficient of friction and makes that joint glide more smoothly. Okay, that time uh, Coach Harding does not use up her full time out. Well, I think she just wanted to get in their ear a little bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you stay in their ear too long, then you start to get some uh, self-doubt in there. Let's see if they can break this momentum. Seven straight points for the Red Devils. And that worked. Serve uh, came across as a box elder point. One, well, if you're the Red Devils, you're thinking, oh, doggone it. You know, no, nothing like breaking a rally like your own air. Yeah. The box elder didn't even have to earn it. Mia Stokes back to serve for box elder. And that one goes long. Springville wanting a touch. And they get it. Jane Allen back to serve. Nice and over the top there for Chappelle. Yeah, Chappelle does that really well. I, I wish that as tall as she is, she'd just unload on it sometimes. But she, she has that little touch down pretty well. I mean, when she unloads, she can unload good. Grace Hodson back to serve. That goes long and no, oh, they're calling touch again. I Brings up Prince Francesca Campbell. And Springville has brought it within two. They're just getting more opportunities for kills. Box Elders, uh, not, e either their first pass is not good or the set's off, timing's off. Another overpass. overpass. Nice save by Southwick. And then she finishes it. And that's what we need more of. Addie Olson back serving for the bees. Hey, the least box elder hit 20 this time, so we're no, we don't need 20. We need 25 with a lead of two. <laughs> we don't want to lose 27, 25, but this this is not over. A gimme. Haven't had many of those tonight, but boy, you, in this type of a game, you need to avoid all of them. And look who's serving. Uh-oh. Florence back to serve. Nice and over the top again there with Valenzuela. Box Elder hangs on to a four-point lead. Yeah. Good pass, good set, gave her the option to either kill it or, or dink it. And she's back serving. Back row kill and the roof by Larkin. Timeout called by uh, Springville. We'll be right back. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. 
Um, we purchased the mortuary, the funeral chapel in 2001. My wife Lori and I have always felt that family is important and when you have a family owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. But we like to go one step further ahead. All right, we got a little discrepancy here with the score clock. Johnny's got 23-16, and the score clock's got 22-17. Uh, there were a couple of points in there where they called touch or not, but maybe I marked it down before and didn't switch it. So. Larkin with a nice save on that one. Some miscommunication they got, there. They got a talk out there. It doesn't work very good. It gives them a free ball. Low set made that easy for Southwick to, to put a stop to it. And then Larkin finishes strong. The short set came up big. All right. Uh, up six with two to go. Valenzuela continues to serve. And there's one of the two needed. Game point, Box Elder. Well, Box Elder came into this game doing exactly what they needed to do, is put the other game behind him, start over, play their game, and they did that for the most part. I'll tell you what, though, it's not been the cleanest game they've played. No, it's not. So they have some improvement to do. That's a good hard hit. That was Bergeson that put that one down good, and then she's going to go back and serve. I was going to say, you know, they've got a tall order. they got to get six in a row, but they did better than that last game. So, Box Elder needs to do well here. Hits the bracket up top. and Nice save there by Florence. Southwick puts it down, saved by Bergeson. And that hit the, hit the antenna. antenna and point box elder. And uh, you add up the scores for both games, it's a tie game. Yep, 25-18, both sides each have one. We'll be back with the third game. This was great to go with the flow of my children. I would love to have three of her on set. I will use her anytime she's available so that she can work on my films. Brooklyn was able to get my shy fiance to relax and show her true personality. Brooklyn is the Navy SEAL of set production and I could not have made it without her. You're the star of video photo and design. Leave or send a message to the email or phone number listed below. You're the star where you become the star. For a loved one currently suffering from chronic knee pain, arthritis or osteoarthritis of the knee has physical therapy surgery steroid injections ibuprofen and other NSAIDs fail to provide relief then you may be a candidate for our advanced arthritis relief protocol the AARP program utilizes the latest fluoroscopic guidance technology to deliver a new joint fluid supplement that cushions the knee and reduces pain specialized knee bracing is then applied to unload the knee and increase joint space finally advanced rehabilitative therapies are performed to strengthen the muscles and ligaments of the knee when combined these treatments have helped many patients reduce or even eliminate their joint pain and return to normal active lifestyles. The best part is the AARP program is covered by most insurance, including Medicare. Tired of living with knee pain? Then call the number on your screen right now to see if you qualify for our advanced arthritis relief protocol. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. My wife Lori and I have always felt that family is important and when you have a family owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. A lot of funeral homes will just say, here's your bag and thank you for letting us do your services. 
but we like to go one step further ahead. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. Um, we purchased the mortuary, the funeral chapel, in 2001. My wife Lori and I have always felt that family is important and when you have a family owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. But we like to go one step further ahead. Good opportunity here, Bruce, to thank our sponsors as you see those ads. Give, reach out to them, tell them thanks. Absolutely, Brigham Heating and Cooling, uh, our game partner sponsor, their, their logo is on the screen for every game we do, so. And it's cold enough, uh, you know, hopefully you've had your furnace serviced, they'd be glad to do that. Also, we got uh, Joint Regeneration of Utah. They uh, wanna make you pain free. If you got a joint that's hurting, they, they can help you out, and then they have helped me out on a couple of mine, so if anybody would like to know any more details on that, I'd be glad to, to share that. Just go ahead and reach out to us. Message me on Facebook or something like that. We can uh, get you taken care of. And also Gillis uh, Funeral Chapel. Well, that's one that I know a little something about. Uh, if you want to do a funeral right, go to Gillis. And the thing to do is go to them beforehand. I'll tell you what, there, there's a couple of times in your life when you get caught by emotions. Weddings and funerals, if you do it ahead of time, it's much easier. So go talk to Brent. He's one of the good guys out there. He, he's a great guy to do just about whatever. So starting off with Mia Stokes serving. And goes out of bounds off in the block. So Springville has the same challenge that the Bees did after the first game is put it behind you. It's a, it's a whole new game. Now we're playing a best of three. Jane Allen with that serve. Back row Southwick. And the roof by Olsen and uh, goes out of bounds. Box Elder point. All three games we've been tied at one. So I guess we're not going to be able to tell who wins uh, by that nope. score. There's no trend there. <laughs> Hodson serving. If there's a trend, somebody's going to win 25-18. <laughs> that one went off from Stokes. So should we just say the first team to 19 wins? That's right. I guess you got, you got to win by two, so maybe first team to 20. Campbell with that serve. Southwick again with the hit. Out. All tied up at two again. That first game had a lot of ties. The second one, not so much. Olsen back to serve. That set just a little bit too low. Larkin couldn't quite get to it. Brings in Florence to serve. Larkin with the left hand. That was on the line. Counts is in. Well, Springville's done what Box Elder did and clearly put that game behind him. They're playing a little bit better now. Valenzuela with the hit. This is going to be hard to play. Yeah, off the basketball standard, and they're going to do it. They did it's going to be a job free ball for the Bees. Oh, that was going to go out, wasn't it? That was it? way out, I thought. That one's that out. That one's out, too. Yeah, I agree with you. I thought it was going to be way out. But you know what? They just don't have a lot of time to decide, do I hit it or let it go? So you hit it. 
You feel awful embarrassed but when you don't and it lands in, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Valenzuela comes up short. Springville by two. With Bergeson back to serve. Vaughn shoots long. <clears throat> Valenzuela chased it into the net. Makes it difficult. She's the setter, but playing on the back row, so she can't, it's not like she can jump up and really joust that ball. Southwick puts a good one down. And they said one of the Red Devils was under the net. Uh, Johnson. Well, I probably showed 25, but I don't see a 25. Well, I think there were maybe seven. Seven. Yeah. seven, yeah. So that would have been Jane Allen. Southwick back to serve. And that... Opaque, OPK there for Chappelle. She had to reach back, but she was able to get just enough on it. It's a good thing she's 6'3". Right? <laughs> Can't teach height. Bees need to take advantage of these. Free ball. And, and that, more, that's not how you do it. More miscommunication. They just need to be talking better. Nice roof put on there, Larkin uh, with that one. They were fortunate. Had Larkin and Vaughn both up there for it. And Southwick continues. The free ball to the Bees. Vaughn puts it in. in. You know, I, I can't fault Springville for letting that. When she hit it, I thought it was going out. All tied up at seven now. And Springville gets the ball back. Up one. And a roof put on Larkin again, I believe. Reader back serving for the bees. All tied up at eight. Can't get any closer. No, it can't. 25-18, 25-18, 8-8. There you go. Over easy there for uh, Johnson, and then Olsen puts it down in the back corner. And that's the way you take advantage of a free ball. Reader back to serve. Uh, that was missed the antenna. Hallie Reader called that one. Box out on a three point run. I think it was a little long, too, but uh, great reaction there by Bergeson. Box Elder up three. Things have been going well for him here lately. Hallelujah. 
It's the freshman Oakley Johnson in there for the Red Devils. And that breaks the, the string there. And the sisters playing together. The, the scoreboard shows 11 to 8. I show that Springville should have an extra one there. Good first pass. Got the roof on. And there they got the point. And Johnson gets the kill. I was going to start questioning my sanity. <laughs> Lillian Miller back serving for the Red Devils. Oh, that, that dropped, dropped in. fast there. And we are all tied up. I look back to the first two games. It was the first one to get to 15-1. So we'll see if that holds true in this game. Miller Only again. Four away from that point. Back row, Southwick. Good hustle there by Reeder. Free ball, but kept it alive. <laughs> Hannah Child uh, with a couple of wines in there to get that point. Good recovery there by Miller. Oh. Valenzuela had, had half her foot across. B's all tied up now, 12 apiece. Looks like Stokes will be coming in to serve. That's four. That's got to be four. <laughs> So the bees take the lead back. Stokes will stay behind that line for a second. Right in the corner for Addy Olson. Olsen is having a very good game. She today. is having a great game. It's a good day for her. Stokes will try to keep her run alive. That ended quickly. <laughs> Well, Stokes did her part. She did. Anytime you can serve twice, you've done you've done well. Jane Allen. And that was a pinball going around on that side for the moment. Okay, bees are the first fifteen. Just call it. Let's start the game four. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might have a few uh, Springville yeah, yeah, uh, people think? upset. <laughs> uh, it's been a very even game. That goes long. This is Kylie Palmer in here serving for the Bees. Good serve. That was a great set from the back row like that. Nice recovering out of to hit the rafters. Southwick with a good uh, roll Bounce over the, the rim. <laughs> or uh, over the rim. The net, you're, re the you're ready for basketball. <laughs> I'm getting That's ready for basketball. <laughs> I did watch 
A little bit of a jazz game the other night. <laughs> Springville takes their first time out. We'll be right back. Welcome to the exciting world of regenerative medicine. I'm Dr. Paul Winterton. I'm a board certified orthopedic surgeon. We've been able to synthesize the natural lubricant that our body makes called hyaluronic acid. And we're able to move that material into the joint with actual needle sticks. We decrease that coefficient of friction and makes that joint glide more smoothly. Okay, each team gets two timeouts per game, and uh, that was the first one of the game here uh, taken by Springville. We might have another one or two before the end of this game. Kylie Palmer still back serving for the Bees. And firing long, there is Bergeson. You know, we see so often when somebody takes a timeout, it, it goes their way. You know, just something about it breaks up the momentum. Boxetter was able to get the point there. Nice drop in for the ace for Palmer. Now we know why Palmer came in to surf. Hadn't seen her yet till now. That one drops in. And a child with a nice hit. And they, this one here called a touch. None of the others did, yeah, so she but took she, it down. She's also the furthest away. So the B's up by four, six to go. Campbell back to serve. Not a comfortable lead, but I'd rather be up four than down. Absolutely. That lead can evaporate quickly. And one of them just did. Campbell will continue to serve. Southwick gets a nice set. Valenzuela shoots long. And uh, a gift from yeah, Campbell. You know, when things aren't going well, it's very helpful to have the other team make a mistake. Box Elder was up 13-9, or 13-19. Nice save. Just out, I couldn't see myself right behind the coach from where I was at, but uh, almost was able to sneak it in. All right, we have uh, Natalie Florence back serving. She's the one that did all the damage that first game, if I recall. Yes, she did.
Good volley going on this time. And uh, the roof by Southwick saved the point. Have Vaughn and Valenzuela coming back in for the bees. Valenzuela to serve. And it went long, and it was close. <laughs> Set a little bit behind Vaughn on that one. And the block it gets between them and the net, so it's uh, it's a one point game. Yeah, those if you're going to block that, you got to be up right on the net. That, that's happened at least three or four times tonight. Yep. Fischio back serving that time, and we're all tied up. That's the highest tie we've ever had, isn't it? Yes, and well, yeah, because nobody got past 18 before. So <laughs> anyway, the bees take a time out here. We'll be back with you. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. My wife, Lori, and I have always felt that family is important, and when you have a family-owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. A lot of funeral homes will just say, here's your bag and thank you for letting us do your services, but we like to go one step further ahead. All right, see what the bees can do coming out of this timeout. It's all knotted up at 21. Uh, Four points to go, unless we go into extra innings. Yeah, you, you were ready for basketball. Now you're getting ready for baseball and softball. Absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's all good. doesn't matter the sport. We do all sports, right? Good first pass. Nice. <laughs> Southwick, all she could do is flick it. Yeah, the, the pass was there. The set was a little bit off, but Southwick did everything she needed to do, and now she's back serving. All she did is flick that a little bit and uh, got it right where uh, the Red Devils could not return it, and she goes back to serve. Now we're all tied up at 22. I think that was Fulmer that hit that one. Now we have Ella Child back serving. Nice save there by Larkin. But it gives them a free ball. And another one. Ne neither team has taken advantage of opportunities that they have. Homer again with a good hit. That's the first lead that Springville's had since it was 12-11. Child serving. And again, the free ball. They're saying that it went the other side of the antenna, I believe. Coach Chris Harding having a conversation with the official. Is Springville's correct, it's game point.
So the Bees are going to need to get at least a couple. Student section joining in. Hannah Vaughn gets the point. All right, the Bees got that one. They need one more to keep this thing alive and go into, as you say, extra innings. <laughs> got Reeder back serving. First things first, you got to get it across. You got to have a clean serve. Now take advantage of this. And they got it. Addie Olson. Southwick with the good pass. And that's where it all started. It, it was a good serve. All tied up again. First one to uh, be up by two. Vaughn again. Didn't get quite the power we wanted on that, and that's uh, going to be a point. Springville. I'm not sure what happened, but it went through the hands of uh, Southwick. And all right, another game point for Springville. They're going to bring in Lillian Miller to serve. Timeout called by Box Elder. They're second of the game. We'll be right back. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. My wife Lori and I have always felt that family is important and when you have a family owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. A lot of funeral homes will just say, here's your bag and thank you for letting us do your services, but we like to go one step further ahead. All right, we'll see if Chris uh Trying to ice the server helps as the bees are down one. And Miller did come off the bench too. But she, uh, she's but been in the rotation. She, she's a senior. She, she's done this before. Student body trying to do all they can. That's her job, isn't it? Good first pass. And uh, flip over for uh, Addie Olson. Ties it up again. Yeah, Mia Stokes back in to serve. We went 25-18, 25-18, and now we're 25-25. It doesn't and get any better than that. that. That's a good game. Stokes. Very and well placed. Johnson just put that in the right spot. No need to power that at all. I mean, it's just open spot. Okay, I'll take it. Game point again. Jane Allen back to serve. And oh, and that that's going to be it. It's going to be game. So Springville takes game three in extra innings. Uh, Box Elder's hoping for five games now. It's going to be incumbent upon the seniors to dig down deep and take charge here. Uh, so they can go to a game five. We'll be right back with more from Beehive Sports Media. This was great to go with the floor with my children. I would love to have three of her on set. I will use her anytime she's available that she can work on my films. Brooklyn was able to get my shy fiance to relax and show her true personality. Brooklyn is the Navy SEAL of set production and I could not have made it without her. You're the star of video, photo, and design. Leave or send a message to the email or phone number listed below. You're the star, where you become the star. For a loved one currently suffering from chronic knee pain, arthritis, or osteoarthritis of the knee, has physical therapy, surgery, steroid injections, ibuprofen, and other NSAIDs fail to provide relief, 
then you may be a candidate for our advanced arthritis relief protocol. The AARP program utilizes the latest fluoroscopic guidance technology to deliver a new joint fluid supplement that cushions the knee and reduces pain. Specialized knee bracing is then applied to unload the knee and increase joint space. Finally, advanced rehabilitative therapies are performed to strengthen the muscles and ligaments of the knee. When combined, these treatments have helped many patients reduce or even eliminate their joint pain and return to normal active lifestyles. The best part is the AARP program is covered by most insurance, including Medicare. Tired of living with knee pain? Then call the number on your screen right now to see if you qualify for our advanced arthritis relief protocol. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. My wife Lori and I have always felt that family is important and when you have a family owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. A lot of funeral homes will just say, here's your bag and thank you for letting us do your services, but we like to go one step further ahead. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. Um, we purchased the mortuary, the funeral chapel, in 2001. My wife Lori and I have always felt that family is important, and when you have a family-owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. But we like to go one step further ahead. All right, game four coming up. Uh, Springville leading two games to one. So, it, you know, so far tonight's gone Springville's way most of the time, but it's close enough that it wouldn't shock anybody if Box Elder came and got game four. I, definitely not. I mean, out of the three games, it's Springville by two. Yeah. Before we go any further, let's remind everybody that Friday night, football, state football playoffs against Olympus, it is a 3 o'clock game. Yes, it is. So don't be thinking it's 6 like it was originally on the schedule. Well, you, at 6 o'clock, uh, it's going to be close. You can probably go back and rewatch it at 6 o'clock. All right. <laughs> anyway, 3 o'clock Friday. Please tune in. Now we're back to this game here. What does the box elder need to do? They, they've got to get that first pass. Uh, I mean, we've, we've talked a lot tonight. You know, it's, you know, communication out there hasn't been real great tonight either. They've got to communicate better. Uh, I'd say those are the top two. I would agree. Student section getting back into it. We've got uh, back there Jane Allen with the serve and overpass. Saved by Reeder. Child with the hit. And then that was a free ball to Box that are still just not in sync at all. We had like four opportunities, and the last one was the only one we got a, a good hard hit on, and it went into the net. That's a good pass, but not a good set. Not a good, neither, nothing happening right for the bees now. They need to settle down and play their game. Long. Quite honestly, the bees are fortunate. It's, it's tied up at one. We, we need to get back to playing. That, that was a little rough. Okay, Palmer served well last time she was back there. That'll be hard to save. Some disagreement on the coaches versus the referees. The ball had crossed onto the box elder side of the net and she tried to pull it backwards. 
ends up being a point for Box Elder because that net extends apparently. Palmer continues and shoots long. All tied up at two again. It's good thing you're doubling up on your lines there, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we used the whole paper to keep this score. Campbell to serve for the Red Devils. Punch from Valenzuela. Off from the block and stays inside. Childs with the kill. Spring build by one. Off the basketball standard and drops. It was going up pretty quick. So Springville just continuing doing what they've done all night. And another ace for Campbell. Southwick finds the rice clock. We need to be saying that more. B's down two. With Addy Olson back serving. Good communication there by Mia Stokes. Palmer with the last second turn away from the ball on that one. I think Stokes was yelling at her, let it go, let it go. Mia had, the, had a good angle on it all the way, so good call. Johnson gets roofed by Southwick. Southwick gets roofed, it goes out. I'll add to your keys to this game four is we need to hear the name Southwick with the kill. <laughs> Absolutely. Because when Box Elder's played well this year, she's been a huge part of it. Oh, Larkin comes up short. You want to have that one back. Oh, yeah. That's, that one hurt. She just waited a little bit too long. Brings up Florence to serve. Nice dump there by Mia Stokes. Excellent job. Reminds you of the Reader Girls in years past. Yep. Valenzuela back to serve, all tied up. I don't know if that was, I think that was Larkin that got that one. B's finally up by one. Yeah, that can help her confidence after having a little bit too much patience on that previous one, and that one goes into the net. Gimme, gimme. Fischio back to serve. Somebody came across. They're saying that it was Ella Child that came across. Fortunate there because that, that was that was a gift. Yeah, because Valenzuela was trying to bring it back and uh, it went over the head of yeah. Larkin. Southwick back to serve. Oh, 
Vaughn shoots long. Fulmer back serving for the Red Devils. Nice save by Valenzuela. Oh, and, and they called it in. Chappelle with the with a little bit of toot going on out there. Yeah, we need more of that from her. More of the toot or more of the all of the above. <laughs> all of the above. Reader back serving. Out. Box Elder now up two. That's the first time they've had a, a two-point lead in this game. Springville was up three at one time. That sails out. Springville keeping it close. Now the line judge over here on the B side is calling something. Hallie Reeder is over there talking to the upper referee. So now they're going to congregate and talk about it. All four of them. We need to get a mic over there. Now they're keeping the point with Springville. I'd be curious to know what the conversation was, even though nothing changed. Yep. Miller back to serve. And that one's going to go long and tie it up again. Oh, that was going to go out. They need to be it was, talking to it. It was called out, too. Oh, that right hit in. Right on the corner. <clears throat> you know, you said it was called out, but they need to let her know sooner. Yeah. Because once you commit, you, you got to go with it. It worked out well for the bees as they got the point. Bees add by one. Stokes serving. That'll be a free ball. Let's take advantage of this. Uh -huh. We're all tied up again at 11. Valenzuela with the over the top. It got, some, it got tipped and it threw the other defender or players off a little bit. Palmer back to serve. That was Brenna Smike. I'll tie it up at 12. That's our seventh tie of the game. Southwick with two good hits. Valenzuela gets great, it in. Great eyes. Allen just could not uh, get over close enough to get a good hit on that one. He's up one. Addie Olson serving. 
Give her an ace. We haven't had one of them in a minute. I don't think we had one at all in the third game. That's another good serve. Free ball. Southwick with the point. He's up three here in game <laughs> four, down two games to one. Well, first one to 15 did not uh, didn't win, win last, last game. time. No, remember when I wanted to end it? <laughs> <laughs> and you foolishly <laughs> said that Springville may not like that. <laughs> Valenzuela, the wait. Double hit. Double hit. Florence serving. Valenzuela, give her the point. She's had a couple of good hits. Now we have Hannah Vaughn back in. Valenzuela back to serve. <laughs> Nailed it for Southwick. No, that's what I'm talking about. We, we've mentioned her name about four times in this game, and, and that's why we have a four-point lead. And we have a timeout, Red Devils. There you go. Southwick will do it to them. We'll be right back. Welcome to the exciting world of regenerative medicine. I'm Dr. Paul Winterton. I'm a board certified orthopedic surgeon. We've been able to synthesize the natural lubricant that our body makes called hyaluronic acid. And we're able to move that material into the joint with actual needle sticks. We decrease that coefficient of friction and makes that joint glide more smoothly. Not quite sure what's gone on in the student section over there, but about half of them left <laughs> or more. I'm thinking they must have called free pizza, nachos, hot dogs, or something because the, they were all running out. Valenzuela back to serve for Box Elder. Box Elder with a four point lead. And that one, they're double hit, and it missed the antenna both. Valenzuela to shoot again. And a good roof. Southwick again, I believe. Well, Valenzuela's got it going, up six. Over to Southwick, oh. just doesn't. Bad timing again. All right, up five. outer has got to avoid those runs and just get the serve back. Fischio. Back to serve. That's going to go long. That one is long. And the look on Coach uh, Cannon's face is like, oh, no. <laughs> Southwick back to serve.
And good effort. A little too many uh, hits of the rafters up there. Yep. To... It's hard to judge it coming down. Well, it starts, goes up, it hits something, goes another direction, hits something else, and hits something else again, and uh, you don't know which way to go. Fulmer back to serve. Nice block. Vaughn with probably the, her best hit of the night. She's had some good ones, but I, I would call that one her best. Reader back to serve. Needing four. Addie Olson tapped that one over. She needed to just put it away. Good job there. By, I believe that was Chappelle that got that. And Springville takes another timeout. That's their second, and uh, they're down seven. We'll be right back. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. Um, we purchased the mortuary, the funeral chapel, in 2001. My wife, Lori, and I have always felt that family is important, and when you have a family-owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. But we like to go one step further ahead. I wouldn't say Box Elder's got it, but I'd rather be in Box Elder's shoes than uh, Springville's for this game. Uh, up seven, just three to go. To force a game five. That goes long. And that kind of just helped that one out just a little bit. Reader continues to serve. Nice serve. I think Box Elder hit the net. Box Elder by seven, though. Yeah, the Red Devils need a bunch, but they've done it before. Good grief in that. That first game, they got nine, didn't they? Yeah, it was tied up at uh, 16, and they ended up winning 25-18. Miller with that serve. And they're saying it went wide of the antenna, I believe. Nonetheless, 17-23, B's up by six, two to go. And That's about another. all that uh, Chappelle could do because that was deep and outside. Miller continues here. That's her third serve. Larkin, or excuse me, Olson, who we've said uh, plenty of times tonight has put an exclamation and, and it all started that with that good first pass allowed the set to happen Mia Stokes wanting to put this game away game point for the bees we, we've heard the score 25 18 we need another one of those <laughs> Five eighteen for the third game. All right, we're gonna go to a game five, first to fifteen. Got to win by two. And uh, th it's been a great game all the way through this whole thing. All four of them have been awesome. Well, and uh, you know, I mean, encouraging part. Box Hunter has not played really all that cleanly, and but they can play a lot better. I'm, you know, perhaps Springville can too, but. Um, Box Elder came into this game the favorite, and you know you got one game to 15 to prove it. Yep. 
So, winner, of, winner of this game will have the opportunity to play Woods Cross, who is seated number four. That would happen on November 2nd at 9 a.m. at would be Utah Thursday. Valley. That's Thursday. And and the winner go, or the loser goes home tonight. But after that, I believe the losers go into a, a consolation bracket. Doesn't show it on this uh, paper here, but Johnny's got it all figured out. So they go to Woods Cross. That'd be. You know, game number 19 or match number 19, and that would go to the consolation bracket on also November 2nd at noon. So if you're interested, uh, go down to Utah Valley University there in Orem and uh, take in the whole state tournament after this round. If you've never been down to it, that's quite uh, the setup they've got going on down there. A lot of games going on all at once. Nice venue, great uh Great opportunity to support high school volleyball. We'll take a quick time out. Get ready for game number five. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. My wife Lori and I have always felt that family is important and when you have a family owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. A lot of funeral homes will just say, here's your bag and thank you for letting us do your services, but we like to go one step further ahead. All right, all comes down to this last game coming up right here. Uh, if it goes as it has done in the past, it went Springville, Box Elder, Springville, Box Elder. Don't say it. I, I <laughs> all right, well, it's one game to one now. Winner of this game moves on. This, this is where, as a player, the nerves can take over, and perhaps it's the team that controls those nerves the best will come out the victor. And the Bees will start out serving with Mia Stokes. Mia Stokes starting off game number five. And we're off, it started. Chappelle shoots it wide. Just had a bad angle at it. She had a big hole over there, but uh, needed a little bit more finesse. Once again, a, a poor first pass, and at least they were able to save it. Nice roof put on there by Olson. And long for Valenzuela. Jane Allen back to serve. Hawks are off to the worst start they could imagine, down 3-0. And they're going to take a, no, they're not going to take, I thought Chris was going to take a time now. Allen continues to serve. Allen 
Now and I think the bees need one now. And they got it. No, that was just a little bit uh, too much right up into that block. Uh, you know, uh, Springville, they've been blocking very well today. Well, in, well, it's easy when you don't get a first pass and you don't get a good set. I mean, you're trying to tip that ball over as opposed to kill it. Yeah. And, I, you know, I can't, I don't remember that Box Elder had a great opportunity in those first four points to get a kill. And that needs to change. And Springville's 11 points away from taking this match. So whatever Chris is saying in that huddle, she knows her players well. She, you know, it's interesting because a lot of players, you got to get after them. Some other players, you put your arm around them. In, in a huddle like this, you're, you're speaking to all of them simultaneously. And so that takes some real skill to be able to speak to all of them at the same time. The way that they need to be talked to. All right, Allen again behind the service line. Valenzuela. Off the block and uh, Child puts it in a, in a hole. Great first pass. And that set was just a little bit off. She had to just push it over. And a great kill there by Bergeson. He's coming in with Julia Reader. And down six, worst start yet for the Bees. Southwick back row. And Johnson with the kill. It's a good pass. Not a good set. Well, this is a disastrous start to this for her fifth game. Yeah, absolutely. That's haven't had one uh, this far open at all. And finally, Mia Stokes will break the ice. That's the second time she's done that today. And now we got Palmer coming in to serve. We need a bunch. Don't need them all. But you got to get some. We got we got to cut down on that lead for sure. Nice block by Valenzuela. Bees are going to get it over, but it wasn't easy. Springville, Springville's having their best game of the match, and it's coming at the right time for them. Campbell back to serve. She's had a number of streaks in hers. Another overpass. Overpass kill. And the Bees take their second and final timeout. As they're down nine with only five to go for Springville. We'll be right back. Welcome to the exciting world of regenerative medicine. I'm Dr. Paul Winterton. I'm a board certified orthopedic surgeon. We've been able to synthesize the natural lubricant that our body makes called hyaluronic acid. And we're able to move that material into the joint with actual needle sticks. We decrease that coefficient of friction and makes that joint glide more smoothly. All right, Box Elder out of timeouts now. We will uh, see how this goes we've got Campbell back on the 
service line for Springville. And she fires long. And at a time that nothing is going right for Box Elder, Springville helps them out. And they double our score. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Addie Olson, who's had some good serves tonight, back serving for the Bees. Got to take advantage of these opportunities right here. I got caught up in uh, Ella Child's arms there on the block and uh, ended up just dropping. Good effort there. Need to put this one away. There was Southwick, and then uh, that overpass uh, gave Valenzuela the kill. All right, three straight for the Bees. Still serving, Addie Olson. Ah, you can't do that. Got to make them earn it. Yep. And uh, Springville bringing in the server that kind of put game one away. Natalie Florence. Not, not kind of. She absolutely put it away. Southwick with a good one. Child with a good save. Southwick again, and uh, Campbell with the save. But then Bergeson uh, finished it. Yeah, Springville now down three points from pulling off the upset in the first round. Florence again. That one uh, did not get touched. All right, I said before, you don't need them all, but you need some. Now you need a bunch. I, I think you need to get uh, a bunch. <laughs> With rally scoring, you know, it just goes too quickly. Yeah, you can't trade very many points. Won't get you very far where they're at. There's Southwick. They need more of that. They need a lot more of that. It happened in game four. She started to get some kills. Valenzuela to serve. Give her an ace. All right, Taya, keep it going. That one looked out to me. They're all calling it in. They got a better angle than I do. But Chris had the best angle of all, and she thought it went out. <laughs> of course, she's a little bit biased. All right, two to go. Bergeson serving. That's out. That is out. Southwick back to serve. Give her an ace. Some indecision there, and now it's game point. Mm -hmm. 
So not only do the bees need to get this one, they need to get five more. In a big hurry. Or four more to keep it going, I guess. Ella Child back to, back to serve. And that's the ball game. That's the whole match. Springville pulls off the upset uh, in five games, winning that last one 15 to 9. Did, did I blow that one? How so? I said Springville oh, won the yes, second you, one. Box you, elder. <laughs> you, you, you had a little foresight there. Um, I, I didn't say they were going to win the last one, but. Anyway, it's been a fun season uh, announcing the Box Elder Volleyball games. We wish them all good luck in whatever they're going to do. And we look forward to Friday's football game at 3 o'clock. Friday uh, at 3 o'clock. So Box Elder versus Olympus. It, it's going to be good. And, uh, you know, it, it's always fun, uh, you know, seeing the new teams come up. But it's also this time of year it's had, you know, you, you got a bunch of seniors out there that, you know, you wonder how they're going to do without them. And, but, uh, you know, you know they wanted to, to come out victorious on this, but uh, Springville had a great team yep. that came in here. They, they played well and, uh, you know, obviously uh, deserved this win. Yeah, they played better. We also look forward to basketball coming up the end of November. So, yeah, the week after Thanksgiving, we've got three home basketball games coming up that week. So uh, we encourage everyone to uh, get ready for some basketball. All righty. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, if you want to come back and watch it again, it'll be available to you shortly. Absolutely. And uh, we appreciate it. Please stop by or call our sponsors. Let them know that you uh, saw us here on Beehive Sports Media watching uh, Box Elder Volleyball.